So I figured since I have a nice adjustable compressor here in the 2026, I would just do a, a short segment in this video on uh, kind of a lesson on what the controls on an adjustable compressor actually do. So this will apply to this pedal as well as any other pedal that has you know, adjustable attack, release time, adjustable hard knee or soft knee, uh, you know, ratio, threshold. I think sometimes these controls, they confuse people, you know, musicians in general, not just guitar players. Um, so, you know, you can take uh, this away and apply it to any compressor that you try, essentially, this information. So here's the tone without the pedal. Okay, just a straight up clean sound. When I turn on the pedal, I've got the output a little above half and I've got the, the ratio all the way down. Listen to the tone. Okay, so I'm driving the amplifier sound into distortion a little bit, and that's because I've got the output cranked up a little bit, ratio's all the way off. When the ratio's all the way down, that means no compression's being applied, and because I've got the output cranked a little bit, it means now I'm basically using the pedal like a clean boost. So that's something you can do with a compressor, is actually drive the front end of your amp, and if, the, the, you know, if you've got an adjustable ratio, you turn it all the way off, you're not getting any compression, you're just gonna hit the front end of, of the amplifier harder. <laughs> Okay, so you can hear the sound get quite a bit louder. Now let's slowly raise the uh, ratio control. Now you can hear as I turned it up a bit and played, you can hear the attenuation start to kick in, and as I turn it up more and more, you can hear more compression happening. So basically the ratio is the control that decides how much compression is gonna get applied when a signal crosses the threshold, okay? So that brings us to the next thing, um, threshold control. The threshold is essentially just setting when compression kicks in, okay? So if you if you set the, for, for a kind of a light amount of, of or sorry, a, a sort of a high threshold setting, and then you pick light, you're maybe not gonna cross the compressor over into uh, compression, okay? So if I turn this threshold control up, now we're not hearing any compression happening. If I turn it down, now you can hear the compressor kicking in. So that's essentially what the threshold does. Sets the level at which compression kicks in. Ratio is the control that controls how much compression is actually gonna occur when a signal crosses the threshold. Okay, let's talk about the attack and release controls now. So the attack control basically is the setting that will determine how soon compression kicks in after a signal crosses the threshold. Okay, so if I play a chord right now, I've got the, the, the attack set all the way down. That's its fastest setting. Okay, as soon as the compressor senses the signal, it's clamping down at the fastest attack setting. And you can hear it in the front end of the amp isn't getting distorted or anything like that because, you know, that signal is getting compressed so low that it's not punching through and, and able to clip the front end of the amp. Now, if I turn up the attack control all the way, now it's going to be at its slowest setting. Okay, and you heard it uh, clip the front end of the amp a little bit, and then you heard the signal slowly die down. Okay, that's what happens when you've got a slow attack, it takes a little while for the compression to kick in, and so it just depends how you want to set it. Maybe you want to completely smooth out pick attack. Sometimes that can sound really good on an acoustic guitar if you wanted to really sit in a track and be very smooth, but if you want some dynamics in there, you want some of that pick to punch through, uh, sometimes it's better to set the attack setting, you know, at least a medium attack, uh, if not uh, out and out slow attack. Just depends on what, what you want to hear. Um, so if I set the attack as fast as possible now, uh, let's talk about the release control. This is the easiest to kind of demonstrate with the attack super fast. Um, so a, a really fast attack and a really fast release would sound like this. Okay, so there was initial spike of compression, and now the compression turned off relatively quickly, and you hear the sound sort of fade away naturally. If I, if I set for fast attack and really slow release, Okay, that just grabs the signal and holds on to it way longer and doesn't let it go. So that's going to be the most dramatic compression that you can get, essentially, is a fast attack, really slow release, and that's going to be like the least dynamic sound that you can possibly have. It's basically squishing everything and sticking it kind of into one sort of dynamic range that's very limited. Okay. 
So let's set it up for a uh, maybe a medium fast release and a medium attack. And now I want to show you what the knee control does. Last but not least. So the knee control, um, hard knee or soft knee, is basically how the compression, sort of the character of it as it transitions into compressing. Okay, a soft knee is gonna have a, a, a much sort of more natural sound. Hard knee is a much harder sound. That's soft knee, this is hard knee. You can hear it's just way more aggressive. It grabs a signal and then drops it. It's not a very natural sound the way I have the compressor set right now but um, it's excellent to kind of illustrate this hard knee and soft knee compression. Once more, here's the soft knee. Okay, you can hear the compressor kind of start to do its job and then, you know, slowly, but it's a little bit more natural sounding. Here's the hard knee. Ah, <laughs> kicks down like that. So it's, it's, you know, much more natural to me most of the time using uh, the soft knee, but sometimes if you want really aggressive compression, which that hard knee setting could be the right thing. Thank you.